and that's what it's all about, you know, bringing out the best in them. As part of MTC's 2021 40th anniversary commemoration, the Oliver J. Bell Unit in Cleveland, Texas, recently participated in the Mental Health Awareness Campaign. Key leaders in the facility held a meeting to discuss what they could do to help some of the mental health challenges they'd seen amongst the residents. So we all got together and wondered, how can we involve the inmates? How can we get them involved? A mental health class for residents struggling with anger issues was quickly introduced, with the facility chaplain leading the effort and the class. A big component of the class is artwork. To be able to sit down and concentrate on a project gave me therapy to the point that I was calm, cool, and collected. Just like you have to do a project, you have to do it in steps. So. Taking those steps is something that we have to do in life too, so we could actually use the art therapy as a way of applying it to your life on an everyday basis because you're going to finish something and complete it, so it gives you that accomplishment. It's almost, uh, the process of it is almost, in some sense, kind of like a caterpillar. You know, it's, it goes through the development of its cocoon and then it blossoms into a beautiful butterfly. And uh, that's what we are, being incarcerated, and then changing our life and our mindset, character development, and integrating it to be an asset to society. It wasn't long before an opportunity came along for the art-driven anger management class to serve the Cleveland community with their several artistic talents. A city Halloween event was held and the facility was asked to help out with a booth. All things considered, the anger management class born out of the mental health awareness campaign seems to be making a difference. With those particular individuals, it's really helped because they did have anger issues. You know, they would be in front of disciplinary or they would be one reason or another in the supervisor's office, but that has definitely helped where they're no longer there. Because we can always look at the bad in a man, but do we really look for the good in them? And that's what, that's what I love about being here, is the opportunity that I'm given uh, to be free with my creativity to do things that I feel within my heart. Okay, let's try this and let's see if it works. And once I see that it works, then okay, then we're going to incorporate that into our program. 